Today, I'll show you how to install Google Analytics on your WordPress website. And we'll cover three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So if you're ready, let's dive in. The first thing you wanna do is install Google Analytics or create a Google Analytics account. To do that, you can just search for Google Analytics and you're looking for something like analytics.google.com. When you click on that, then it'll ask you to sign in with a Gmail account. So you'll want to either create one or sign in with one. From here, you'll want to create an account if you've never set up Google Analytics. An account is basically an area where then you can create multiple properties. And the properties are things like all of your websites. So you want to give it a name. It's usually your business name or maybe the primary account or primary website. Scrolling down, you can choose whether or not to do account data sharing and keep the settings. We'll just keep that and click next. From here, this is where you want to set up the property details. And in this instance, property is your website. So you want to give it your name, give the location where you live and under advanced properties, we want to expand advanced, advanced properties because we want to also create a universal property. So let's select that. And from here, the website URL address, you can toggle this, meaning you can do either HTTP or HTTPS. The HTTPS is secure socket layer or that you have a security certificate installed and most websites do. So for me, I'll use that one. Type in your web address. And now this next one is important. You want to create both a Google Analytics 4 and a universal analytics property. Google Analytics is moving in a new direction and Google Analytics 4 is the prominent way. However, many of us still use the universal analytics property so that we have the historical data. And so you'll want to have both of those. Let's come down here and click next. And now you can just give it a little bit of information about your business. And this is just helpful in letting you know if you're hitting certain benchmarks in your industry. So you can pick the one that works best for you, or you can also choose other. Give it a business size and just how do you measure items? And then we can create. And now we'll want you go through and read the analytics terms of service. So you'll want to do that. Once you do that, you can accept it. Okay, now that we have this installed, we're going to keep this up and we're going to open up a new window to go back to our WordPress dashboard so we can install a plugin. The first method is by installing a plugin. So we're going to go to plugins, add new, and the plugin we're going to install is Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, you can connect your WordPress dashboard or your WordPress website with Google Analytics and they do a lot more items for you. The free version is what we will be installing, but you can also choose their pro version if you want. And this will give you a few more features, including e-commerce tracking and several other things. This is the one we're looking for. Let's go ahead and click install now. Make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, you'll see a wizard pop up and this will give you, ask you a few questions to give you the best set up for your website. We'll use a publisher or a blog style and we'll connect our Monster Insights to our Google Analytics account. It'll ask you to sign in and ask you some permissions. We'll go ahead and allow that. And then from here, we want to pick the analytics that we're wanting to set up. If you have multiple properties, you'll see this in a setup. If you only have your one because you just started, then you'll just see the one and complete connection. Now it's going to follow, finalize the authentication and then it'll bring us back to more of the wizard. It'll automatically set up some recommended setups like events tracking. So this will, if you click over here, you can see any kind of click that's on your site, any outbound links. If you have a local website and you have people do a click to call, it'll show you that as well as mail links and so much more. That's a great event tracking to automatically set up. And it has a couple other things. If you are into file, if you have any file downloads, these are the downloads that it will track for that. If you have any affiliate links set up or that you're going to set them up, you can set that up here. Really cool information. And then you can choose to automatically install the updates and help us improve. We'll just say yes to both of those. And so then Monster Insights will automatically update every time. These are the recommended add-ons. If you want to upgrade to the full version, we're just gonna say save and continue. And now we're all set up so we can finish and exit the wizard. Great. Now that that's set up, there's one more item that we need to do. We have set up our universal tracking and because we want to set it up for future, remember future you is going to thank you right now. We want to set up dual tracking. So we want to go back 
and we're looking for this dual tracking that starts with a G and this will be for future. So let's go back to the analytics platform where we were and this is the G code that we want to copy. So let's go ahead and copy this, go back to our dashboard. We'll add that bit of code we'll come up here and click save changes. Now by and large, you'll want to wait about 24 hours if you're getting traffic to your website before you can start seeing any data. But once you do, you can come over to reports and from here you will start seeing the reports come up. The other cool thing about Monster Insights is it brings all of your data from Google Analytics right into your dashboard. So if you go to reports after it has been tracking everything for a while, then this is what you'll see. You'll see your sessions, your page views, your bounce rate, average view duration or average session duration. You can see device breakdown you can also see returning visitors, top countries, top referrals, and so much more. It's a really cool feature to have that set up. Now method two is by using a plugin, but it is a stripped down version. You're simply installing the script on your website. And in order to set that up, anytime you set up any analytics on your site, you only want to have one system or one method installed so that it doesn't skew the data or ruin the data. Okay. Method two is also by installing a plugin. So let's go over to plugins, add new. And for this one, the plugin we're searching for is insert headers and footers. This is one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. Also stick around to activate it and insert headers and footers just allows you an easy way to insert bits of code on your site that third parties like Pinterest or Google analytics asks for. So now that that's installed, we need to go to settings, go down to insert headers and footers, and we need to paste a bit of code The code. We need to paste. If we go back to our analytics, and to find the bit of code, we need to close this web stream area out. So I'm going to close that from the drop down up here. Let's go to my website. That is the universal version. We'll click on that and we need to go to admin tracking info, tracking code. And this is the bit of code that we need to copy to add. So we'll highlight all of this and we'll click copy go back to our insert headers and footers area, and we're going to right click and paste that in here. Now this will give us the universal code, but it won't give us the GA4 and you won't have the data coming over into your dashboard. If you want to view your analytics using the insert headers and footers, then you'll want to go to your analytics dashboard and click on home. And then you'll start seeing all the data here. The third method is just by installing a bit of code to your actual website. So let's, head back over again. We need to remove any previous versions of installation. So I'm going to go and uninstall that. And then I'll show you how to install the code to your theme. Let's go over to appearance and let's go to theme editor. This will be installing it on the theme. There are some caveats that I'll share with you in a minute on when to use this or what to be careful for. So over on the right, we're looking for the functions.php page. And from here, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom so we can add a new function. So I'm going to start a new line. I'm going to paste this bit of code and you can get this from our written tutorial. This is a simple function that is pulling in the data. So over here where it says paste, we got to go back to the tracking info, the tracking code. So we can copy that data if you didn't copy it already. Head back over. Go and paste this in here. And now that code is, is, is in there. Now a caveat to this is if you ever change your theme, then you'll need to add this bit of code to the new theme, or you won't be tracking any of your data. That's why a lot of times we recommend using a plugin to do this because it'll be there regardless of what theme you're using. And if you're curious about what your visitors are interested in on your website, then watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to track link clicks on your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.